Hi, I'm Nibu Phillips with Synaptics. In this series of videos, our team is going to get you started designing with Astra, our AI native compute platform for the IoT. Synaptics has a rich history of building industry leading technologies that have come to shape human machine interactions. Among the pioneers of on device AI, Synaptics products span modalities for touch, audio, voice, and vision. Now, with Astra, we are pushing boundaries further and bringing these technologies into the IoT device edge that is fast becoming AI enabled. At the core of Astra are high performance MPUs and MCUs with integrated inference engines, ARM based processors, GPUs, DSPs, and advanced I.O. capabilities to meet the demands of AI applications at the edge. But Astra is more than silicon. It's a complete framework with a unified software environment and open source tools, making development simpler and more accessible. With its adaptive AI framework paired with Synaptic's best-in-class wireless connectivity solutions, it's paving the way for a smarter, more connected future. In this series of videos, we'll show you the capabilities of the Astra SL series of MPUs, starting with the unboxing of the Astra Machina SL1680 Evaluation Kit. We'll take you through the Linux-based SDK, dive into real-world scenarios to maximize the capabilities of the SOC for multimedia applications, learn how to connect wireless capabilities enabling Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and lastly, unlock the potential of AI with edge inferencing and learn how to optimize and run standard models. We are excited to get you started on your edge AI journey with Synaptics Astra. Hi, I'm Aaron Pack, and today we'll be unboxing the Astra SL1680 development kit. So let's dive in. Before opening the box, you'll find valuable information using this QR code on the bottom that will lead you to a range of information from our website. Additionally, there is a helpful block diagram on the back of the box for quick and easy reference. Now let's take a look at what you get with this kit. The kit comes with a board, a power adapter, and a USB Type-C cable. You also need an HDMI cable if you want to hook up to the display. You can see that this board is assembled and ready for use. On the bottom, we have the Wi-Fi module with the antenna on it for wireless connectivity. And on the top of the kit, we have the core module which houses the main processor or MPU for either the 1680, 1620, or 1640. The bottom portion of the kit is the I.O. board, which has an Ethernet connectivity, an HDMI output, and four USB 3.0 ports. On the outer edges, there are two USB Type-C ports. One is for power, and the other is for USB 2.0 transfer or USB flash updates. These are not interchangeable, so it is important to note that the USB Type-C port next to the HDMI is the power input. On this side, we have the 40-pin connector that can be used for various specific functions, such as additional storage, enhanced connectivity, or specialized input and output. We also have two MIPI inputs for cameras and a MIPI output that you can connect to your display panel. Those are the components of the platform. Now let's get started with setting it up so we can put it to work. Let's begin by using the provided power adapter and plug it into the correct USB port for power. Plug in the HDMI cable which connects to your monitor and then use your USB dongle to connect your keyboard and mouse. Turn on the power and you'll see the green LED light up. It will take about 15 seconds to boot up where you will see an Astra logo on your monitor. Open the terminal. A login prompt will be displayed and now you're ready to start the development. The boot up is from the EMMC by default, but you can also choose the boot source between SD card or USB. Everything I just walked you through is also available on the user guide, which is also available on our website. You're now ready to explore capabilities of Synaptics Astra Development Kit. Check out the documentation for more details. Hi, I'm Andrew Duggan with Synaptics. In this video, we'll get started using the software which runs on the Astra Machina SL1600 series platform. 
The SL1600 series runs a Yocto Linux-based OS, which provides a standard Linux-based runtime environment. Yocto provides the ability to create highly customized OS images and create tool chains to simplify cross-platform development, allowing users to develop powerful applications that run on the edge. The Synaptics Astro platform also provides the Synap framework and toolkit. Synap provides powerful tools to optimize and quantize machine learning models so that they can run optimally on the SL1600 series hardware. And you can create custom OS images at the Synaptics Astra GitHub page. The main page includes links to documentation, pre-built releases, and the support portal in case you run into any problems. The Astra release page contains pre-built images for all the Astra Machina SL1600 series platforms. These pre-built images are all you need to get started with the latest Astra release without having to build an image. Simply click the link to download the image for your Astra Machina platform. Or, if you want to build your own custom image, you can do that as well. You can add software packages, add custom drivers, and integrate support for sensors and peripherals. The Synaptics Astra GitHub contains source code for the Linux kernel, U-Boot bootloader, and other supporting software components. Let's start by building an image using the Yocto environment. Building a custom image is a resource-intensive process. We recommend using an x86-64 build environment with the following configuration. 16 cores, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and 150 gigabytes of disk storage. We recommend that the build environment be running Ubuntu 22.04 LTS and have Docker 20.10 or later installed using the standard Ubuntu package. Once the environment is set up and configured, you can then start the Synaptics Astra Docker container. The container contains all of the tools and libraries needed to build the image. From inside the Docker container, clone the Synaptics Astra source from GitHub. Change directories into the newly downloaded SDK directory and source the build environment. Select the target platform for the Astra Machina device you are building for. Sourcing the environment will create a new build directory. Inside the build directory is the local.conf file. Add your modifications to this file. In this example, we will add the Python 3 pip package to the image. Now we are ready to build the image. Run the bitbake astra media command to begin building the image. The total build time will depend on the configuration of the build environment and the number of packages being built. When complete, the newly generated image will be in this directory. Now we're going to flash an image onto the Astra Machina board. This can be one of the pre-built images from our GitHub page or an image you built yourself. Flashing images to Astra Machina is done using the USB 2.0 interface and commands are input using the serial console. To set up the serial console, you will need a USB TTL adapter board or cable. The jumper wires connect to the UART pins on the 40-pin GPIO connector. The black cable connects to pin 6 labeled ground, the orange cable connected to pin 8 labeled TX, and the yellow cable connects to the pin 10 labeled RX. The color of the wires on your adapter may be different. Be sure to check with the manufacturer of your adapter to verify the pins. Some USB TTL adapters require installing a driver on Windows and Mac hosts. Please check with the adapter's manufacturer for instructions on downloading and installing the driver. Once you plug in the USB TTL adapter, you will see a new COM device under ports in the device manager. On Mac and Linux, you will see a new TTY device under slash dev. To access the serial console on your computer, you will need a terminal emulator app, such as TerraTerm, PuTTY, or Minicom. Open your terminal emulator app and configure the serial port settings. In this example, we are using PuTTY. On this system, the USB TTL board is enumerated as COM3. Set the BOD to 115200 and make sure data bits are set to 8 and the stop bits are set to 1. Parity should be none and flow control should be none. Open the session and you should now be able to interact with the serial console. Next, we will set up the tools which download the OS image to Astra Machina using the USB interface. The tools are available from the USB tool repository on the Synaptics Astra GitHub page. 
Download the tool package by clicking the green code button and select Download Zip from the dropdown. The downloaded zip file contains the Windows USB driver required to communicate with Astra Machina over USB on Windows platforms. There are also three platform-specific USB boot directories. These directories contain the USB boot tool and supporting files. On Windows, start by installing the Synaptics WinUSB driver. Double-click on the directory and then right-click on the Cine WinUSB setup information file. Select Install from the drop-down menu. A pop-up should appear saying that the driver has been successfully installed. Mac and Linux platforms do not require an additional driver. Next, we will run the USB boot app. Open the USB boot directory, which matches the platform for the Astro Machina platform, which you are updating. Inside the directory will be the images directory. This contains the images which will be sent to Astra Machina. Copy the image directory you wish to upload to Astra Machina into this directory. This will be the directory contained in the pre-built image zip file or the image directory created during the build process. Then double click on the run batch file. A terminal will open and you will see output from the tool. Now that the tool is running, connect Astra Machina to your computer using the USB 2.0 port. Next, enter USB boot mode. If the board is unplugged, then hold down the USB boot button and plug in the power cable. If the board is already powered on, then hold the USB boot button while pressing the reset button. Once the board successfully enters USB boot mode, you will see output in the USB boot tools terminal. You will also see the U-boot prompt in the serial console once Astra Machina has successfully booted from USB. From the U-boot prompt, enter the command L2EMMC, followed by the name of the image you are flashing to Astra Machina. Once the update is complete, the serial console will show the U-boot prompt. You can issue the reset command or push the reset button to boot the new image. Now Astra Machina has booted using the new image and is ready to use. So that's how to get started with Astra Machina. Detailed documentation on everything we covered on this video can be found on GitHub. Hi, I'm Andrew Duggan with Synaptics. In this video, you'll learn how to get started using Synaptics Synapse Solution to execute neural networks on the Astra Machina kit. The Synapse framework allows users to take existing models and convert them into a format which is optimized to run on the target hardware. The converted models can then run optimally on Astra Machina's MPU, GPU, or CPU. The Synapse solution consists of the Synapse framework and the Synapse toolkit. The Synapse framework consists of the libraries and drivers used to support the execution of models. Whereas the Synapse toolkit is a set of tools which support the optimization and quantization of models. Synapse supports two modes of model conversion, online model conversion and offline model conversion. Online model conversion converts the model into the optimized format at runtime using a just-in-time compiler. This is the most flexible option since it allows users to run models in their original representation directly. For example, you can take a TF Lite model and run it with hardware acceleration on Astra Machina without any additional steps. The disadvantage is that there is a delay when running the model for the first time, since this is when model compilation takes place. Offline model conversion converts the model ahead of time into a pre-compiled representation of the network, which is specific for Astra Machina. Offline optimization allows for the highest level of optimization without the trade-offs of just-in-time optimization. Astra Machina comes with several pre-compiled models. They include models for image classification, image processing, object detection, and object recognition. Pre-compiled Synapse models are stored in files with the Synapse extension. In addition to the models, sample data for testing model accuracy is also included. You can use the Synapse CLI IC command to test the image classification functionality. Here is the command to test the MobileNet V2 model on a sample image containing a goldfish. Compiling and optimizing other models for Astra Machina is a straightforward process with the Synapse toolkit. In this example, we will download a TF Lite model from Kaggle and convert it to a pre-compiled Synapse model. First, we will download the MobileNet V2 TF Lite model from Kaggle. Then create a working directory for the model and copy it there. 
Now we will install the Synapse Toolkit. The toolkit itself comes prepackaged in a Docker container. To install the toolkit, pull the container. Next, we will create a Synapse alias. This alias will simplify the commands used in the rest of this example. We will also set the mount point variable to the working directory which contains the TF Lite model. To convert the model, run the synap convert command. Set the model parameter to the name of the model you are converting. Set the target parameter to your Astra Machina platform. In this example, we are using SL1680. Then set outdir to the directory where the converted model should be stored. Now you can copy the converted model to Astra Machina and run it. The Synapse Convert command also supports setting conversion metadata in a YAML file. This allows for advanced tuning of the conversion process. The options in the YAML file can specify the data representation, model quantization options, output dequantization, input preprocessing options, and which delegate should be used for inferencing. For example, MPU, GPU, or CPU. For additional documentation on Synapse and detailed instructions on how to convert models, please go to our GitHub page. Get your hands on an Astro Machina board today, and remember to watch all our tutorial videos. Thanks for watching.